Hello everyone, this is Mahdi Hassan back with another video. Today I will show you how you can make a visitor counter using Arduino and two ultrasonic sensor. In addition, I will show you how you can set a limit for overpopulation. That means if the population exceeds the limit inside the room, I will set a buzzer and a red light for that situation. So let's go. I will discuss about the component necessary for this project. I'll show you the circuit diagram and I will provide you the code in the description box. The first component you need for this project is Arduino Uno. Here you can see the Arduino Uno. Arduino Uno is a microcontroller board based on 80 mega 3 to 8p microcontroller. Here you can see the microcontroller. It has 14 digital pin which we use for input and output and it has 6 analog pin. Here are the other pins for ground, VCC, 3.3 volt. We can power up this Arduino by 3 way by using USB B printer by using DC 5.5 mm jack and another one is using V input pin then we need two ultrasonic sensor an ultrasonic sensor is an electronic device that measures the distance of a target object by emitting ultrasonic sound wave and converts the reflected sound into an electrical signal. Here you can see the four pin of ultrasonic sensor. From the right, the first one is ground, the second one is echo, and third one for trigger, and the fourth one is VCC. This is 170 type point solderless mini breadboard. We need two. We can use bigger one, but for this project, this mini breadboard will be enough. In this breadboard, these five pins are shorted. Like these five pins, these five pins, these five pins, like this all. For display, we will use LCD1602 with I2C interface. Here is the I2C interface. You can see four pin. The first one is ground, the second one is VCC, and the third one is serial data line, and the last one is serial clock line. We need a 5 volt buzzer. The long leg of this buzzer is positive and the shorter leg is negative. Uh, red LED as an indicator and we need a register for limiting the current so that the LED will not damage. This is 220 ohm resistor. And lastly, we need some jumper wire. We need both type. Uh, this is uh, male to female, and this is male to male. All the components necessary for this project are ready. Now it's time to connect all of them. So here is the bit bit connection is done. This is the entrance gate and this is the exit gate. Two ultrasonic, this one for the entrance, this one for the exit gate. This is the display, here is the buzzer and LED. So now I will upload the code. So 
here is the code. I'll share with you the breadboard diagram and this code. But you don't forget to include the liquid crystal I2C header file. Otherwise, this code will not work. So let's now upload. So uploading is done. So inside the room, the zero person. Okay, now let's allow some people to enter the room. Okay, one person stay here. Okay, two person. So on. I have set the room capacity for 10 person. You can see nine person already in the room. Let's allow another one person to enter. Okay, now 10 person is inside the room. Let's try for 11. The room is overpopulated. That's why the buzzer is making sound and the red LED is glowing. Let's remove one person from the room. Look, the buzzer stopped and the red LED also. Let's again enter one person. So this was the project. So don't gather much people in a congested place. Keep social distance. Stay safe. Thank you so much. I'll be back with another die project inshallah. Till then take care.